people um, make a decision when they are confident of the decision. So the feeling of confidence um, is what will trigger them to then make the decision and take action by making a decision. And uh, the research shows this, and we can actually, um, researchers can actually see neurons fire in the brain, um, or actually sometimes they hear neurons firing in the brain, because uh, neurons make a slight electrical noise when they fire. Um, but they can uh, hear or see when that happens, and they know it's related to confidence. So it's almost as if, um, you know, it's not like you, it, this idea of, oh, if I collect enough information, if I have enough knowledge and information, then I'm ready to make the decision. And yes, that's true. But, you know, how much is enough? And so it has to do with this feeling, and it is a feeling, it is an emotion, a feeling of confidence. I have enough information, I have the right information, I've talked to the right people, and I'm confident of my decision, and that's when you make the decision. You might actually be making it without any good information, but if you feel confident about it, you're going to go ahead and make it. Now, you got to remember and understand that most decisions that we make, we make unconsciously. Um, we think we are making the decision consciously, uh, and we can tell you when we made it and why we made it and why we decided the way we decided. But in reality, that's not true. Um, the decision was made unconsciously. It was made before you became aware of it. And the reason you made it might not be at all what you think or what you say or what you believe. Um, so it's, it's, it's interesting, but decisions are made unconsciously. In fact, uh, with some of the new research techniques we have about looking into the brain and what's going on into, in the brain, we can actually see when someone makes a decision. Uh, and um, researchers have been able to uh, see when the, someone is, has made the decision see they can see which option for instance if they give them two options they can see which option has been chosen um, and on average seven seconds before the person is aware that they've made the decision before the person is consciously aware of what they've decided and uh, before they've taken action so um, just to really understand how unconscious this is you make the decision, your unconscious mental processing makes the decision, and then it takes about seven seconds for that to get to your conscious mind uh, where you then know you've made the decision, and then you can start to rationalize why you decided what you did, which is probably not the real reason.